Right, here we go, the new exhaust has arrived. Uh, so we're going to go fitting this today, see how that goes. First thing to look at, this hook here. Looks like it might be a little bit bent in transit. Not enough room there to get the rubber thing on. So we'll have a little look at that first. See how I get on with that. Hope I don't break anything. Then we'll have a go at fitting it. So hangers are on. I've used one old one. See this one's got a little bit more room to it. And one new one. And when they're in position they look like they should sit straight. So hopefully the back bit there will line up properly. That's the leap of faith we're taking at the minute. We're going to go and try and put it on the car now and have a look. So it's on. We've got it on. Just in the process, I don't know what you can see, it's a bit of trying to tie up the screws at the back that hold it in to the rest of the exhaust. Bit of a faff, just because of difficult access. But it's on. Looking good. 45 quid job sorted. So, there we go, it's on. Bolt it on, you can see the bolts. I'll let them out of the car, it's a bit of a funny angle, a bit difficult to show you. There you go, there's the bolts all screwed on. And the welding had snapped on this piece here. I can't use my other arm at the minute. On this piece here, it snapped the welding. So I've improvised wire coat hanger, twisted it around, a couple of cable ties, just to hold it a little bit more securely so it's not jumping up and down and bouncing around on the joint too much. We shall see how well that fares. Obviously, it's warm under there, so the plastic cable ties might not last, but I might have gone eBay for some stainless steel ones. Probably get them for a couple of quid. But that is one exhaust repair done. Hashtag lockdown learning. Hashtag I think I might be stuck under the car. Let's see if I can get out. <laughs>